Now, welcome to this video presentation. We're going to demonstrate for you uh, the procedure for changing the sensor on an AL6000 digital breathalyzer. The only piece of specialist equipment you're going to need is a narrow bore Phillips screwdriver to loosen the casing on the, uh, the breathalyzer. Important uh, feature on these is that you must match the sensor to the predetermined manufacturer's display scale. So, on this model, if we can show you. Shown here on the actual display, you have milligrams per litre. Now that is the display scale uh, of alcohol displayed by this unit. And when you buy your replacement sensor, you must ensure that you are buying a milligrams per litre sensor to go in a model with this display. If this was to show a different display, such as, for instance, percentage BAC, then it's critical that the sensor you put into this model again matches that, and it's a percentage BAC. So. When you've mail ordered your replacement sensor and you're ready to go, the first step is to remove the batteries from the unit. Again, if you don't do this, you can damage the sensor. So it's important that you power down the unit and ensure that there are no batteries in it. And then to remove the sensor in this unit, you're simply unscrewing this retention screw on the reverse of the unit. And that will allow you just to open the unit up. And if you go around to the back of the unit, just to clip out the top element of the breathalyzer. And then you'll see the sensor and the feed removes from the unit on the pins as such. So there's the breathalyzer, and this is the, the, the sensor. This is the cover that just goes onto it, and this is the actual sensor. Now on this particular model you've got the blue spot indicating a milligrams per litre sensor model, so when you're coming to replace the sensor, it's a matter of taking the cable cord, inserting that into the base of the sensor, and then repositioning this on its cable in its housing. So that goes down into the front of the breathalyzer as such. This is the tricky bit, just replacing the housing over the front, and that will just click back in on the back, retighten the breathalyzer retention screw, in go your batteries, and you're ready to go. Now, sensors on AL6000s. The unit is programmed to give you an indicator of when the sensor is uh, ready for replacement and that will give you an SEN display. But also it should be replaced if you find that the readings you're getting on the breathalyzer don't tally with what you expected. These uh, semiconductor sensors can be damaged by excess alcohol. They can also be damaged by uh, impact since so it's a semiconductor. So uh, we recommend that the maximum duration between sensors being changed should be six months or 200 tests and at that stage a replacement sensor which is pre-calibrated and ready to give you accurate test results again should be fitted into the unit to maintain its accuracy.